Hey everybody, got some exciting astronomy news here. This FRB, that's Fast Radio Burst, number 121102, its location has been pinpointed recently by the Gemini Observatory in Hawaii as being 3 billion light years away. Now, this, these radio transmissions have been detected since 2012 by the Arecibo Radio Telescope in Puerto Rico and the Green Bank Radio Telescope in West Virginia. They've picked up 17 transmissions since 2012. What's stumping the scientists is that the transmissions are not consistent. Usually pulsars um, go in a pattern, a consistent pattern. These are not. Most of the transmissions are in the 1.4 gigahertz range all the way up to 5 gigahertz. It's a multi-band transmission. Compare that to 2.4 gigahertz with your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Now, if this radio wave was near the Earth, man, it would just take out everything electrical. Very, very powerful radio transmission here. This source is from UC Berkeley. Lends some understanding to this topic. Um, scientists are saying that in this uh, small dwarf galaxy are magnetars. Magnetars come out of neutron stars, um, which in turn are created out of supernova explosions. However, most of these explosions result in pulsars, which in my understanding have a regular uh, radio pulses that emit on a regular uh, period, whereas these FRBs, these fast radio bursts, um, that's what's stumping the scientists, is that they are not consistent, they're irregular, and they kind of defy what's known as pulsars. Now, this guy, Casey Law at UC Berkeley, specul is speculating that these could come from super luminous supernovas known as long gamma ray bursts, and then evolves and rotates down a bit, and then produce fast radio bursts, as well as a continuous radio mission. What he means is, if you look at the diagram, this is easier to understand, is that the, this um, small dwarf galaxy, this section of it, is also emitting a consistent or persistent uh, radio transmission. And it's also emitting these FRBs, these fast radio bursts. And you can see what looks like a Venn diagram here in the image. Well, the intersection of that is what astronomers are thinking uh, may result in this um, erratic time period where the, the bouncing off of the radio waves in between the persistent source and the FRBs is creating kind of this anomaly where um, erratic kind of pulses are coming through. Now, of course, anything's up in the air. I've got my own speculation about this. You know, um, life forms, very intelligent life forms, could be communicating each other intra-galaxy through these fast radio bursts and that we're picking them up as erratic signals that defy what's known uh, from pulsars and neutrons. Give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.